Yo guys, what's up, it's x Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. So, as you guys can probably tell, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. A little bit of a stuffy nose, but we gotta grind this content out. We got a new update today, the 1.07 update, and it actually did a lot. Uh, so we did stuff to nerfing weapons, like the 725. It uh, did changes to the M4. The footstep audio was adjusted a little bit, and we'll talk about that. Changes to the Claymore, changes to a bunch of bugs that I didn't even know were bugs, but apparently were, and they got fixed so let's go ahead and talk about it so with that said let's go ahead and talk about what came in this update if you guys enjoy the video find it informative drop a like it shares the video around it's super appreciated and if you are new if you enjoy the content and want to see more and stay up to date with the latest call of duty news and info then make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on but let's talk about it this was posted by ashton the communications manager over at infinity war so it says what's new new free maps we've added krovnik farmland to ground war and shoot house the multiplayer new playlist and new mode going live on friday hardpoint is now in rotation shoot how 24 7 this includes a mixture of team deathmatch domination kill confirmed and headquarters and yes all of this new content is available for everyone for free across all platforms we're so excited to share this new content with all of you and this is just the beginning thank you all for playing and keeping the feedback coming now i do want to say this is quick man two weeks into the game's life cycle already got a new multiplayer map already got a new ground war map already got a new mode so i hope they keep this up like give us new maps every week or two weeks and new modes every week or two weeks it's gonna really bring life to this game and you're gonna want to play every single week with it which i think is good all right so so let's go ahead general stuff backend fixes they did a lot of fixes to help prevent crashes and improve stability across the platform they had some really crazy bugs that they actually fixed and some of them are you know the typical stuff semtex messing up the audio they fixed or updated the ui for some of the double xp stuff and then the big one here was a lot of in-game stuff so the sprint and tactical speeds are now back to the speeds in the beta so they're slightly faster than it was before there was a fix for a bug where this one i did not know was a bug but apparently it was but it says fixed for a bug that revealed players to uav and when they fired their weapons even if they had ghost and a silencer equipped so now if you are using ghost and you have a silencer on your weapon and a uav is going live it's not going to show your location on the mini map as a dot when you shoot so that's interesting i thought that was just a mechanic they had but apparently it was a bug and they have fixed that one they had some other bugs that were fixed if you want to see the full list of stuff that was fixed check out the link in the description below they fixed an issue with the riot shield where it wasn't causing the shield to go on the player's back when they would throw something they also fixed an issue where the explosive splash damage wasn't working consistently and i think that just means like if someone threw a c4 right at you it wasn't doing the right damage so it looks like they did fix that for claymores they did a nerf and oh baby it was in a good freaking nerf it says detonating an enemy claymore with bullets is now non-lethal when at full health we've also reduced the trigger and the damage radius and also reduced the damage with to better match the trigger with so basically if you shoot a claymore even if you're standing right in front of it it's going to do damage to you but it's not going to kill you anymore thank god there were so many times where i would shoot a claymore and it would obliterate me so there was no reason for you to even want to destroy it to go up and get a camper because you would die instantly so they fixed that i'm really happy they did that i did notice that i actually ran past one of the claymores and it didn't kill me which is insane so i'm happy with what they did with the claymores they're going to keep a close eye on that for battle chatter so if like your player is running up and he spots someone and he goes he's over there or you know he's over by the buses the enemy could hear you screaming that so it was giving away your location now they won't be hearing that which i think is pretty freaking awesome as well for mounting they actually added a slight increase to the recoil so before it was a straight up laser now it actually has a bit of recoil still so you do still have to complete it which is kind of cool or you still have to actually aim and deal with the recoil which i think is pretty awesome i kind of like that update as well for perks eod now clamps damage to a non-lethal amount assuming the player is at full health so basically if you have eod on and you run into a room directly into a claymore if you have full health it's not going to kill you which is awesome so if you're running around and you have a game where everyone is literally using the claymore you can pop on eod and you're not going to get killed by it. now like that dude still could turn around and destroy your ass because you're low on health but at least now you have more of a fighting chance for lightning it looks like they updated it a little bit here to try to make visibility in dark windows and dark areas a little bit better i think there's still a way off on this there's still too many times where i run around a corner someone's hiding in a corner i don't see them at all no red like little uh name above them it's just like hiding in the corner like nothing 
and I get destroyed and I don't see them. So I think they still have a little ways to go there, but it's nice to see that they have updated that a little bit. As for footsteps, they did a little bit here and then they're going to be doing even more with the next update, but it says we've increased the occlusion percentage to filter footstep sounds behind geometry and adjusted the footstep volume at a distance. We have another large footstep change coming in the next update, which will make crouch and ADS movement significantly quieter. Stay tuned. So basically what this means, and I'll try to get a clip of this on screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But if someone's at a medium distance now, it's actually a lot harder to pick up what their sound is. So that's really good. I'm really happy they're doing that. I still wish that they did an overall sound adjustment because I still think the audio for people near you is way too loud. And it sounds like you have awareness on. So I really hope they drop that down to at maybe half or three fourths of what it is right now, just for overall sound. But at least this is a step in the right direction. So if someone's walking at a distance and they walk behind something like a crate or something in front of you and you don't see them anymore, the footstep audio will drop down significantly. So that's good. The distance now is actually better too. So like medium distance, I feel like also is very hard to detect, which I think is good. So that's a good one. And then the next one they're gonna work on when you're walking around and when you're crouching and when you're ADSing and moving around. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm really happy to hear that. They have some fixes going now for challenges, progression and rake. So they fixed a ton of bugs that were going on there. So hopefully that means that now we're able to complete our daily challenges and our mission challenges as well with no issues. All right, so the next one, let's go ahead and talk about the weapon changes that they had. The 725 shotgun, they increased the ADS time and the hip spread as well, along with reducing the damage range. So it's not gonna be as deadly. It's still pretty bad. Like you guys will see gameplay where I'm just destroying people with it. But at the same time, at least it's a step in the right direction. It's gonna take longer to ADS for someone. So if someone's trying to pick you off at a distance, it's gonna take them a little longer to ADS to kill you. The range has also been reduced, which I think is awesome. And then obviously the hip spread as well. So I actually often found myself like, unless I was dead on, on upper body, I was getting a lot of hit markers. So I think that's actually good. That's in my opinion, you have to be dead as on with the 725 if you want that one shot range. And then if you're off, it should be like the car 98 where it's absolutely trash unless it's like upper body. So that's just my opinion on that guy. There's some other changes. The M4 assault rifle, they reduced the damage range and they added a little bit more recoil, small recoil increase. Still pretty godly, honestly. So that's what's going on with that. For assault rifles, they increased hip spread to reduce effectiveness up close. It does less damage at a long range for full auto 5.56 rifles. For SMGs, they increased movement speed, increased ADS speed, and they had a small reduction in sprint out time. So we got two buffs and one nerf. For the Uzi SMG, they actually increased the damage range. For the MG34 LMG, they increased the hip spread, the damage range reduction, and they also have a small ADS slowdown. So that one actually got quite a bit of a nerf. The M91 LMG, they increased the hip spread, a small damage range reduction, and it looks like actually did this to all of the LMGs. The PKM also increased hip spread and medium damage range reduction. So it looks like all of the LMGs across the board got a little bit of a nerf. For pistols, they increased the movement speed, they reduced the sprint out time, and they increased the damage range. So now pistols should be easier to do for those gold challenges. As for crouch and prone, they no longer adjust recoil. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean that if you are crouching and you ADS and shoot, it's not going to give you a benefit because you're crouching or because you're prone and that it's still the recoil is not going to be any better? I don't know. Maybe I think that's like a temporary thing for now while they fix it because some weapons were getting really weird bugs where you would crouch down and it would be like horrible recoil and you would have to essentially be standing to get good recoil. So maybe that's just what they're doing. I'm not really sure. They did a lot of other bug fixes to cyber attack, to ground war, and also specifically to special ops. If you want to see what those issues are, I will link the article in the description below, but I don't want to waste too much time going super nitty gritty on those bug fixes. So check them out, spec ops info, and then also mode specific details will be in the description below. I tried to cover some of the bigger bugs and issues. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did drop a like on the video, guys, it's super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a lot more Call of Duty Modern Warfare news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you subscribe to have those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here on the channel. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You can access the early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and more. So check that out only if you're willing and able to. And then last but not least, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Go ahead and give me a follow at OGXeries. Link in the description below. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.